Welcome to Science Fiction Fantasy, video number one. In this particular video, I'd like to address getting organized for this new semester. And in particular, I'd like to focus on keeping a notebook. So one, I want to talk a little bit about why would you bother keeping a notebook? And then two, more specifically, what belongs in the notebook for science fiction and fantasy? And then three, how you can find more resources in getting yourself organized, especially if you've been absent or maybe things got misplaced or lost. How can you help yourself get organized again if things start to fall apart during the semester? So first, let's talk about organization. So I believe that organizational skills are a habit which can be learned. And for myself, uh, I was always pretty organized as a student, but there's other areas in my life where I've had to become more organized. I was a person who used to always lose their keys or misplace them in the house, and it really took effort on my own part to always try to find that one place, put them in the same place all the time. That's a small example, but it's true for, for other aspects too. Uh, some students cram everything into the backpack and it's here somewhere, but it may be a crumpled piece of paper at the bottom. So it takes, it takes a habit. It takes making it a regular part of your routine. So a teacher gives you a handout and you have a particular place for it. Now some teachers have a scheme that they want you to use all of the time and some teachers just give you things. So trying to figure out what is the, the best method can be really useful. And so for this particular class, I want to help you get organized and maybe you can use those same skills in your future, in your future classes and then in other aspects of your life. For science fiction and fantasy, what you need is most likely, and what I would recommend, is a small three ring binder, something like this. And I definitely have seen students uh, be successful in their organization with like a pocket folder and then they just keep things in a particular order and I'm not opposed to that as long as you have some sort of a system and you're able to retrieve those documents quickly and I will show you in the next uh, little piece of this video what belongs in your notebook at this moment. I'm also going to show you how I assess it and then I'm going to show you where on the website you can find a list of the current papers that belong in your notebook and hopefully you'll find that helpful and of course you can always come to me if you've got any questions. Let's move on to the next part. So what you see here is my sample notebook. It is a one inch binder and it's nothing fancy. I actually don't even bother getting those dividers that you can purchase. I just use what you see here as some, con some colored paper that I hole punch and then I use little sticky notes. You could take your regular sticky notes that you're using for annotation and cut them to make them a little smaller to make your little dividers. I have here a table of contents. I've done it by hand and I've given myself some space for additional pages. You of course could print your own periodically and keep it updated. I have my three sections. I have my reference section, which will be general documents that you would need to refer to throughout the semester. The first one, and the only one you have right now, is the course outline. The second section is our current unit, which is the Tolkien unit, and we only are going to have at the moment two items. One is the Hobbit info sheet, which you'll be getting back and the T2, which is the quiz that you took on Friday, which also you'll be getting back. So you don't have anything you can actually put in it yet, but you will be soon. And then the last section is the journal section. And this won't have individual page numbers because you're gonna be dating your entries as you go. So you can see I have just put in colored paper to divide them. And I could flip through here and find everything I need really quickly. Here's my Hobbit information sheet, my last page, and then I've got my journal entries. This first item that you see is an old table of contents from a couple of years ago, and I just wanted to show you a little bit about 
what a particular section or unit might look like and why it's important to actually keep track of your paper. So you'll see I had labeled this in the past general, which is our now is our reference section. I switch things around from semester to semester. And you'll notice I also included the dates for each handout, which I firmly believe is a good idea. And I will try to do that for the new table of contents as well. But of course, you can always be putting the dates on the items that you receive. And in, I'm just scrolling down to show you some of the different sections I had in previous years. And there ends up being quite a few handouts. So this will help you stay organized by keeping your own table of contents and keeping up to date with the items that you receive in class. On my school website, you'll see we're actually at the home page, but I do have this tab over here for science fiction and fantasy, and I have a new item that is sitting underneath science fiction and fantasy. You have to sort of hover your cursor over there and then you can get to table of contents. And over here is what's currently listed and what I currently would expect you to have in your notebook by the end of next week when you get those handouts returned to you. And you'll see there's reference, there's Tolkien, and there's journal. And I'll keep this up to date to help you stay organized. This final item that you're looking at is an old notebook quiz from a previous year. And I don't take notebooks home because it ends up being a huge burden to bring all of these items home in a big box. And the point of having a notebook, in my mind, is for your own personal organization. So I treat my notebook quizzes as kind of like your own personal scavenger hunt. And so I ask you certain questions that you can find by looking at the pages in your notebook. And so if you do well, in your organizational scheme, it's going to be easy. So there'll be some directions, there'll be a couple of different kinds of questions that you'll be able to find by looking inside of your notebook. We could scroll down, usually about five. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thanks.